No weapon shall ever be formed. Tattoos on my neck and my arm. That garment that's never been. What's up, besties? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. It's so good to have you guys back to my channel. So, we're going to do a fall look today. And we are taking our Jacqueline Hill palette. We just going to go in with that brown. It's going with that brown. And we're going to place it on our eyelid. I already did my brows and prime my eyelids with my um Maybelline press powder. So that was already done. So we're taking our Revolution Concealer. And I'm not sure what the shade is. But I will leave it in the description bar. And we're just going to take our brush that we do our brows with. And we're just going to do a cut crease. Something simple. A little one-two. Just something simple. So we're going to blend out a cut crease. And y'all, it is so hard for me to cut my crease at all times. I don't know. So I just try to be simple and just, you know, do a simple look. Because, I mean, I do have some besties out there that do like simple looks. Want to wear color, but at the same time, be simple. And girl, let me tell y'all, I feel you because that's how I am. I just like neutral looks. But this look right here is definitely a fall look. So... We're going to have fun with this. And y'all, I love this Jekyll Hill palette so much. And I'm so glad that I picked it up because it has all the fall colors in there that your girl needs. So definitely get this palette from Ulta. And the price is probably like $12. So that's not bad at all. So right here, I'm just setting my eyelid with my Maybelline um, setting powder. And I purchased this from Walmart. And I am using my... Um, my brush from I am Zafty and we just gonna set that um, concealer I like I told you I always make sure that you set your concealer anywhere that you place it make sure you set it with a setting powder I mean a loose powder I'm sorry loose powder press powder it doesn't matter make sure that you set it just so your shadow won't crease so we're taking our BH cosmetics flat brush for our shadow and we're just gonna take that olive green color and this is also in the Jekyll and Hill palette as well. And we're just going to place it on our eyelids. Now, you don't want to do um, stroke motions. You just want to do pat pat motions when you're placing your shadows. Because, you know, you don't want it to be everywhere. And that green is so freaking pretty. So pretty. I'm a, Next time I use it, I'm going to use a... Um, white eyeshadow base to really like see the green because it's so pretty and this is fall it's just a fall look a fall color and my BH cosmetic flat brush is good and these brushes work so bomb so I'm just placing it on the lid you know get enough put enough product on your brush where you can just place it on your lid So, y'all, like I said, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend. And, um, yeah, just be great. Do you. Do your do your makeup how you want to do it. Whatever works best for you, besties, do what you want to do. Whatever works best for you. You don't necessarily have to use what I use. Um, you can use whatever products that you have on hand, whatever products are in your site. Use whatever works best for you, whatever you're comfortable with doing. Makeup is your canvas. Your face is your canvas. You can do whatever you want to do to your face. So I am blending out that um, green just with my um, my Wet n Wild brush that I use, you know, for the brown. So I was just blending it out so it can look, you know, good. So right here, I'm just taking my BH, another BH Cosmetics brush that I have, an angle brush. And I am placing, just um, smoking it out with a black by Wet n Wild. So right here, I am using the Kia K um, 24 Karat Gold Face Primer. And I got this from my local beauty supply store, Bestie. So this is my first time using this. And actually, y'all, I was the first one to purchase this. Um, no, I guess they had just got it. No one had came in and purchased it yet. So yeah so y'all this it feels so good and it smells so good i love her packaging everything on it is 
gold just gold and I just love everything about it. It's so pretty. The bottle is just so pretty. And I'm, I think the bottle is glass, if I'm not mistaken. But it does smell good. So I like this face primer. I always make sure that you hydrate your face, moisturize your face with any type of primer. It doesn't matter. You have to always make sure that you do that. That is very important. So right here, I'm taking my Milani Concealer. Um concealer and um foundation is two in one so y'all know i love the co color correct with this stuff so i'm just taking a brush i got from walmart just a flat brush and i am color correcting i put it up under my eyes you know everywhere that i just have like little dark marks or whatever especially on my nose so around my mouth so i love to color correct with this stuff y'all can use whatever you want to use it doesn't matter if you want to use orange color corrected concealer, use it. If you want to use green, use it. You want to use blue, whatever you have to color correct, use it, girl. By any means necessary, use it. Because we're going to slay, period. So I'm just blending that um, concealer out. So right here I'm taking my Rimmel um, Matte Foundation. And I must say, besties, I hate that foundation to a T. I hate it so much. So I took the um I just I like to blend my foundations because it's it's just like I get a I don't know like my my makeup foundation is just when I blend my foundations like it just come out so oh my god so beautiful and just so bomb but I must say that I hate that foundation I don't like it at all at all so right in here, I'm just taking my Real Techniques and just blending that foundation out. And I think this foundation from Walmart, it came from Walmart. And I think it was like $4 maybe. But um, I would definitely, I don't know. I, I don't even think I would tell my beginners to get this foundation. That is just how much I hate it. So I like to do one side of my face first and then move over to the other side because it just works best for me instead of being all over the freaking place. So that's what I like to do. So, yeah, but I don't, y'all, let me tell y'all about this foundation. For one, as you can see when I squeezed it out the tube, it looks really dark or whatever. Okay, cool. That's what I like because one thing about it when you have a darker foundation when you conceal it doesn't matter how dark the foundation is once you conceal highlight and everything is gonna blend out fine but this foundation it didn't come out like that like out the tube it was dark squeezing out the tube it was dark but once i applied it on my face y'all see how my foundation is like just a whole nother color it doesn't even blend in good with my skin at all. I hate this foundation a whole lot. Like, I would never use this again. If I had to use it on hard times, I would definitely. But I had to take a, my Black Radiance BB Cream and try to blend everything out because the foundation was, y'all, it threw me off so bad, so badly. And I hate that. This is my first time using it. I would never purchase this again. But I purchased it because I seen that in Walmart, they had all shades. Now, if anyone knows about Rimmel, you will know that at first, like years ago, they didn't have all shade colors at all. So, when I seen that at Walmart, I was like, okay. Which I have never used Rimmel products a day in my life until I noticed that they had all the you know different shades at Walmart so I was like okay I'm about to pick up one child that was a mistake because the foundation is whack I don't like that at all that is not what and that, I think that's the darkest shade that they had no baby so right here I'm just taking a beauty blender and just trying to fix my foundation and blend everything out seamlessly because baby look I hate it it's I just hate it it messed up my whole makeup process 
I don't like it at all. Like that foundation was just like, no. I look like a chocolate frosty from Wendy's or something. <laughs> yeah, I hated it to a T. And mm -mm. so I had to definitely go in and use a beauty blender and blend out this foundation and just make everything just look good and just come together because. I went with it. It was terrible. Very much so terrible. So I'm just making sure everything is blended out. Y'all see how it looks so I don't like that. I didn't I hated it. Which I didn't hate my makeup once everything came together. It's just the process of it. I will never use this product again. It's not mm -mm. like I said I would never tell my beginners to go get this product because no, you can find something cheap as well and use, you know, find a cheap product and it, it's good. But this room, no. No, no, no. I mean, if you're going to have a dark shade, at least, you know. So I had to take, I didn't conceal at all. I didn't conceal because my face was already light enough. So I didn't put any, didn't highlight or anything. I just went ahead and set my foundation. So I'm using my Maybelline um, setting powder in the shade Deep 35, and I'm taking my I Am Zafty um, brush and you know placing my setting powder. But yeah, I didn't conceal or highlight or anything because I felt like I was just gonna make my um, process worse my makeup process worse so I just didn't do all that stuff like no I had already applied enough foundations on my face so yeah so right here I'm just gonna take my black radiance on um, medium to dark contour palette and your girl is just gonna contour her face so everything can look good and just come together as one because y'all I was <laughs> I was really pissed off about that foundation application honestly you know, I like to I like to mix my foundations. I feel like when you mix your foundations, they look good. They look so bomb. And I feel like I have to mix them sometime anyway to get the cut like my color. So yeah. But I'm just contouring. <laughs> Still trying to be, you know, happy because I was pissed off about that. So yeah. So everything coming together. So my shadow looks so good so bomb so i'm just gonna take my that same um palette the contour palette from black radiance and just contour my nose do a little one two and i'm using my bh cosmetics brush So I'm just blending it out, blending my nose out as usual, the same one, two steps that I do or that I take on my makeup application. I never like switch up anything really, but I definitely switched it up today without highlighting and stuff because baby look, that foundation application was whack. And like I said, I didn't want to do too much. Like my foundation was already light enough too light for me and I don't I didn't want to conceal and highlight and be looking crazy trying to fix it and stuff so I just didn't do it at all so I'm taking my LA girls um, press powder that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm taking my real techniques concealer brush and I am just gonna highlight up under my eyes and y'all honestly this was good enough to do um this makeup look i didn't really actually have to conceal or anything because the powders were good enough for me so i mean it's, it's just that when you don't highlight and conceal and stuff you can definitely tell a difference but i didn't care it was okay it was cool so right here i'm taking my nars um my nars pencil eyeliner pencil in the shade black and I am just, you know, um, putting it in my waterline. One thing about um, 
when you're putting color in your waterline, it makes you, it brings your eyes out. Whether you're using black, white, whatever you're using, it's going to bring your eyes out, which is good. So, yeah. Look bomb. Look really bomb. So, I'm taking my, um, my waiting while. What I forgot to do? I forgot to do something. Oh, do my lips. So I'm taking my Wet n Wild pencil in the shade dark brown and I got it from Walmart and I am just lining my lips. Your girl is just lining it up. Y'all know I like to overline my lips because I like big juicy lips. They are so sexy to me. And I feel like, you know, you should overline your lips a little bit. It makes them just bring your face out more when you just have those big juicy lips. Yes. Oh my god, I love that. That is my favorite pencil, y'all. So I'm just taking my matted lipstick by Nakia K that I got from my local beauty supply store. And y'all, I love these matted lipsticks. They are bomb. They are so bomb. And this is in the shade. Um, I don't really know the name of it, but I think this is a brown, which I have another one that's burgundy. So I get this one mixed up with the burgundy one. But I don't think this one was burgundy. I think it was brown. I think the other one that I have is like more like a plum color, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, this is definitely a fall look. Something chill, something simple. Not doing too much. And I think the retail price for these lipsticks are like, um... I want to say $1.99 or $2.99 and they are real, well worth the money so I'm going to take my setting spray by Wet n Wild and it is in the coconut and I'm just going to spray it on my face to set my whole face. I really need to get out to Ulta to purchase my Morphe setting mist but I just haven't had a chance. I've just been so busy. And I think my lashes are by AliExpress and I just... I don't wear these lashes so many times. I just reuse them and reuse them and reuse them over and over. Take the glue off of them. So I'm going to go back in my Jekyll Hill palette um, by Morphe. And I'm going to take that golden, golden shade. And I'm just going to place it in my tear duct area. So I'm using my BH Cosmetics brush. That is so pretty, y'all. So pretty. And this is my first time using an olive green color. I have never used that color before. Yes, so pretty. And my edges are laid. Shout out to Edge Booster. This is my first time using Edge Booster. I always use um, Edge Wax, I think. Beeswax, Edge Wax, one of them. But I, um, for the first time, I use Edge Boosters, and it is bomb. So, shout out to Edge Booster. So, right here, I'm taking my um, Milani Highlighter that I love so much. I haven't used it in a while. And I'm just highlighting. Fixing my, cleaning my nose ring. There's makeup on it everywhere. So, this look is so bomb, y'all. So pretty. So, still simple. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell to be notified every time your bestie upload a video. I love you guys. See you soon.